What's going on guys? This is going to be an amazing main event at UFC Fight Night 98 in Mexico City, Mexico on November 5th, 2016 when we have the former lightweight champion Rafael Dos Anjos going against the number 3 ranked fighter El Kakui Tony Ferguson El Kakui versus RDA It's going to be a spectacular fight This is the fight out of all of them for the night that I am most like, most looking forward to, uh, you know, my brain is, you know, twisted and tied up, so I almost said the wrong way, but you know what I mean, it, it is perfectly placed as the main event, there are other fights I'm looking forward to, I'm looking forward to the debut of Held, the debut of Alexa Caracio, uh, you know, also, I want to see how Lamas and Oliveria is going to be, and then there's other fights in there, Darius versus Mag Omedov uh, as well, and then there's, you know, the undercard and, and whatnot. It's going to be a fairly fun event, but let's get to the prediction and then to some stats, full fight breakdown, preview, and whatnot have you. So, a lot of people are probably going to be shocked by the way I am going with this one, but I am going with a submission victory in the second round for El Kakui Tony Ferguson. I believe he is going to win. Uh, from what it says at the UFC, pick him right now on October 23rd, 2016, 60% of people going KO for Dos Anjos. 40% are going for KO. Uh, actually, wait. That's uh, 60% of the people are going for Dos Anjos, 40% going for Ferguson, 61% of the votes are going, or picks are going for KO for Dos Anjos, 49% KO for Ferguson. So I am in the few uh, who are going for a submission victory. And, you know, the favorite right now in a tight fight, tight matchup, in an amazing fight is, uh, you know, Right now, RDA has the lead with the picks anyways, but why do I think Kakui Ferguson is going to choke out and make Dos Anjos tap out? Well, Dos, there's 58 fights between the two of them, actually, just so you know. It's going to be crazy. Dos Anjos has 25 wins, 5 by KO, TKO, 8 by submission, 12 by decision, it says here. Uh, sure, dog. Uh, for 2 KO, TKO losses, 1 submission loss, 5 decision losses for RDA. His last fight, he lost to Eddie Alvarez, the underground king, the pit bull, you know, won by TKO, uh, and Dos Anjos lost the championship. He had won the title from Anthony Pettis by unanimous decision, and then put a quick whooping on uh, Donald Cowboy Cerrone, which was crazy in the first round of TKO. But, you know, he beat Dia, Nate Diaz, he beat Henderson, he beat Jason High. And those were some spectacular fights. And Khabib Nurmagomedov had beat him by unanimous decision. He's beat Cerrone twice. It's crazy. Gleison Thibau is uh, beat him by split decision back in 2011. Clay Gudia, the carpenter, beat him by submission. It says here by a jaw injury. So was it a uh, doctor stop? Oh, it doesn't say doctor stop. Is uh, so he lost by submission. Uh, I'm actually going to have to go and watch that one, UFC 117, Silva vs. Sonnen, uh, and see how, what actually happened with that uh, to refresh my memory. So, and then Tyson Griffin beat him by UD, uh, Jeremy Stevens KO'd him in the third round, uh, Jorge Barrito beat him by split decision, and then he lost his, uh, you, his uh, combat sports in May debut to Abu by split decision. So anyways, so he hasn't really a lot, like, I don't know if he tapped out there, they stopped it, because he pointed at so I don't know how that happened, I don't remember. I just don't remember. And I believe Ferguson's going to beat him by submission. A lot of people believe it'll be a knockout, but I think he's going to end up making Dos Anjos make a mistake, which that's something that Tony Ferguson is phenomenal at doing, that he's really good at doing and making guys make a mistake, and then he gets them and he chokes them out. Right here it says he's got eight wins by submission, nine by KO, TKO, four by decision. He's never been KO'd or TKO'd, and he's lost once by submission, twice by decision, it says here. He is on quite the winning streak right now with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wins in a row with multiple submissions there. Three of those are by Barbar Choke, two by Rear Naked Choke, a KO, and 
a split decision and a unanimous decision in those eight wins that he has going. Michael Johnson beat him at UFC on Fox 3 by unanimous decision. You know, I could go into all the stuff and whatnot, but, you know, like he did, he does have a loss by submission, triangle choke, uh, and I think he's learned a lot since then, 2009 that was, you know, and he's been on a tear and ever since that loss. Before, the, after that loss, he went one, two, three, four, five, six, six fights in a row. So, you know, he got eight win, and he's got an eight winning streak right now. He had a six fight winning streak, though snapped by Michael Johnson. So that's 14 wins in his last 15 fights. That is phenomenal. El Kukui is going to choke out RDA in the second round is my pick. If you disagree with me, let me know down in the comment section why you disagree with me. Uh, you know, why you think Tony Ferguson will win by uh, KO or TKO or by unanimous decision. If you think RDA, Rafael Dos Angeles is going to win, let me know down in the comment section. If you think he's going to win by KO, TKO, or submission, or decision. You know what I mean? So let me know your thoughts and opinions on the fight. What do you think is going to happen? What is your prediction? What do you think? Who do you like? You know, I'm a fan of both guys. I was I, I liked it that Dos Anjos won when he beat Anthony Pettis. I was I actually wanted Cerrone to win, and it's weird. Every time I pick Cowboy Cerrone, he fucking loses. Every time I go against him, he wins. I, I don't know. He's one of a few fighters where that always happens. It's strange. But Tony Ferguson is a badass lethal warrior uh, in the octagon. And, you know, in combat sports, the dude is a beast. I believe he's going to win. Let me know down in the comment section if you enjoyed the video or you hated it. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you like it, then I picked Tony Ferguson. You want him to win, hit the like button. Share the video. That'd be awesome. This main event is going to be amazing. If you haven't yet subscribed and you're new to the channel, be amazing and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.